At long last, we're going to reality. Book four, chapter 13. Like a dream. Wait, the, ch the, the chapter is called reality and it, it's called... <laughs> okay, like a dream. Frost consume you. Reality is not like a dream. Reality sucks. You understand, don't you? Prince Alphonse is dead. I understand. Uh, I will be at his funeral. I will even write his eulogy. I will write, here lies Prince Alphonse. Good for nothing bench warmer. Not a dot. Wait, is this us? I forgot. We're the we're the fake Alphonse right now, right? <laughs> All right. No, it cannot be true. Echoes in your mind, but your wishes cannot change the reality of it. Good. I don't want to change it. Prince Alphonse cannot die. He must be alive and well. I would never wish that. Freya, you and I are on the same page here. I hope you. I hope you are triumphant at the end of all this. I hope you get whatever you want. Even if it is even if it is incest. <laughs> and through your pain and your sadness, you create this world of dreams. I created Oh wait, what? This is a real inception now. You even took on the role of your beloved late prince yourself. That is so creepy. I <laughs> I just got I just felt that up my spine. I got goosebumps on that. Oh god, why would I want to be the prince? Don't do this to me. I still think Prince Alphonse is one of my least favorite lords in all of Fire Emblem. I've never made a connection with him, ever. Like, there's never been a one point I'm like, nah, that's pretty relatable. Never. Never. He's never felt right to me. <sighs> okay, well... It's all lies. You're making it up. Prince Alphonse has to be alive. Stop trying to trick us, Freya. Why would she trick us? Why would she want to? By the way, um, Peony has what, probably the best goo-goo face. Look at her. She's such a she has a, such a cute freak-out face, man. Is it a lie? I need answers now. I I don't know. There's no way to tell if she's lying. <laughs> Marabella says Alphonse has a pretty good goo-goo face. Oh man, the, the all the all the all the good fairies are just spazzes. The bad ones are the hot ones. I know a way. Simply observe as the stream continues for all eternity. That is a way, but it would take all eternity, so no thank you. You must keep on dreaming, Nimius. Forever. You know, the older you get, the fewer dreams you get, so... I, I don't know, it might be nice. Submit to me. Okay. Only then will you find happiness. Okay. How do we submit? I'm all for it. Trust me, Nimius. I trust you. Ooh, Gale. He looks so cool, man. Garlands Plus. He even comes with a decent weapon. Easy hero to build. I, I recommend Gale. He's cool. Alright. Uh, Goat Milf. I mean, not really a Milf, but... <laughs> uh, whoops. And... Uh, her kit keeps changing. I don't really know what her real kit is anymore. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we will, uh... Like Kestrel stands to QR. This is obviously not her final form. I actually don't know if if we're gonna keep fighting Freya. I hope. I don't know. She doesn't really feel like a villain type to me, so I still uh, don't really want to fight her. A brilliant thought. All right. Anyways, here we go. I'm in. I wonder. I have faith in you. Also, if you guys didn't know, Where to next? I did entirely commit to Hannah. I will be plus tenning her. I already gave her the mangoes to make her plus speed. Not a problem. Discard all hope. Yes, I suppose. All right, here we go. God, she looks so majestic. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. Okay, this is a bad idea. You're mine now. Fifty-three damage. We have to take a zero. All right, we're we're good. Oh, you just saw the guard axe. I mean, Alphonse is dead, right, guys? Alphonse is dead. Yeah. <laughs> I will get what I want. All right. So, um, as the story is about a dead Alphonse, it's only fitting that we have dead Alphonse here. <laughs> oh wait. Death. Dead Alphonse and can do it as well, but I want to see Hannah special. You're mine now. Oh, 
trailer. There's something really cool about using big, huge fans. Huge fan with her. <laughs> they look so cool, man. Sorry, guys, had half distracted right now. Why? Why resist? Are you upset that I ruined your dream and told you the truth, Nemius? Not at all. I happily, happily submit to you. If that is the case, please accept my apologies for everything. No, 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 no. It's okay. I don't really care about fonts. I always thought, um, uh, who would be a better protagonist? I thought Bruno was the true protagonist all along. Or Anna. You, and only you, are very special. Wait, are you mocking me? You should be treated with respect. I acknowledge that. <laughs> this feels weird. Imagine simping for somebody. I'm not a real simp, by the way. I'm kidding. Imagine simping for someone, and then they're like, all for it. They're all okay with it. All of a sudden, okay. And then it, it turns it turns around. So I will offer you the choice. If you must know the truth, you must choose dream or reality. Um, reality is where Alphonse is dead, but dream is where you are at. Ooh, that's a hard one. Um, God. Chat, who would you pick? Would you rather have a live Alphonse or be with Freya? Wait, that's not how it goes. It's... Wait, what? It's no Freya or dead Alphonse. <laughs> okay, I'll go with no Freya, dead Alphonse. I guess that's what we have to do anyways. Which will it be? Remain a dream with your friend alive forever, or toss him aside to return to reality? I'm going back to reality. I'm sorry. I like you a lot, Freya, but I really hate Alphonse. Not a dot. Surely my brother noticed you also. You are a mystery to us. Beyond us. You escape divine understanding. That makes your dream special. With your power, this dream truly could continue forever. A dream that continues forever does not sound like fun. Uh, but alright. Here, we can both have what we want. We can resurrect my brother and Prince Alphonse. <laughs> I don't want that. Worlds are yours to create and mold to your wishes. Choose the dream, and you will enjoy never-ending happiness. I will give you all you desire. Ah! Uh, could you give me yourself and have Alphonse be dead? We have that compromise. A time. If you should choose reality, however, you will wake to a world without Prince Alphonse. Ooh, reality is pretty good. Should you choose reality, I will bring the lies of the Alphar to an end. Wait, wait, wait. Who counts as the Alphar right now? No defeat will stop me. I give them their lives, and it would be a simple task to take them away. Should you choose reality, then by all means, try to defeat me. You will have to, in order to awaken. In the end, regardless of your choice, I will not allow you to wake. There's nothing you can do. Submit. Okay. <laughs> this is a, like, I hate, this is, this is the worst part about the story. Like, all the times Freya has asked me to submit, I've just been all for it. Every single time. Ugh, why has she been, why do they do this? It's, it's like technically a choice, but you can't, you can't give into it. I can still sense Leia Freya's power. Wait, how? How do we get away from her? We'll still need to weaken her, or we'll never be able to use the horn. And when we do, you need to return to your world, alright? Don't worry about me, Nemius. I, I won't. I won't. You're, you're not even that good. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I'm not a big fan of Peony. Uh, Dark Elves way better than the Light Elves. I'm sure there are a lot of people who've been waiting for you to wake up. Chat, are you waiting for me to wake up? And what if Freya is telling the truth? Then, oh well, Alphonse is dead, who cares? Uh, Prince Alphonse may be dead. That could be the reality we awaken to. What's wrong with that? Didn't you want him to be dead? Wasn't that the entire point of book one? I want Alphonse to be dead. <laughs> it's basically what, what Veronica talks about. Even knowing that, would you still wake up, Nemius? Absolutely. This is easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, we're on the highest difficulty right now. So, he has enhanced BST. Even with enhanced stats, this man cannot break 30 attack. I... I don't even know what the point of this guy is anymore. I never knew. He's like a super niche character, I guess. Technically, Ponza Loki could use him. Because he has high HP and he's a dagger on a horse. But, uh... 
He really sucks. Dick doesn't suck. He's just missing nipples. Alright, here we go. Fear. Uh oh. Ah, uh, whatever, it's fine. Not a problem. Without question. Alright, let's go. We can do this. Yes. Where to next? Wait, I want I have a solo. Wait. Not a right problem. Here. Veronica's really sundry towards Alphonse. Yeah, it does feel like that. Uh-oh, am I dead? Oh that damage output. Let's friggin' go. So if you guys haven't uh can't tell, I, I'm testing Hannah out. I'm gonna make a plus 10 Hannah, but I'm not really sure how good she's actually gonna be. So we're just trying her out right now. Huge fan. Oh, Deku. Okay. So Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, I forgot to do Exalted's uh, Hero View first. My bad. But yeah, I'm committing to um Hannah. So I, I really want to see how... Oh, I mean, her attack's down right now. I really want to see how good she is. Huge fan, Ruptured Sky is probably what I'm going to use in Arena and whatnot. I wonder. Damn it. Discard all brilliant thought. I have faith in you. Death. And ending. All right, we all fonts. By the way, do you guys know which pin I gave him? And showing if it gets too late, I'll just watch the vod low. Oh, okay. Thanks for ex explaining, Exalted. What now? I I still do want to do it in time though. But yeah, ah, oh, I'm sorry. Like I've waited all day for this. I I don't really want to wait for, like just a moment longer. It's kind of lame like that, but God, I this chapter, I'm enjoying it thus far. All right, pretty easy. Hannah's been living up to the hype. Dot, dot. I wonder if Sharina is real. What's the matter, Sharina? You look worried. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peony, you realize uh, Alphonse is actually dead. She should be worried for a bunch of reasons right now. It'll be all right. I'm sure Alphonse is fine. Once you wake up, he'll be waiting for you. Or we'll find his corpse and then we can bury him. Which is fine with me too. So, uh, no need to worry. Are, are you sure? Um, you shouldn't be sure about that. <laughs> Oh, man. One of the things that really bothers me about people is that they try to reassure you, right? But they don't know any better than you do. They're essentially lying to you to try and make you feel better. I disagree with that. Because if you give in to that, into those lies, uh, when you find out it's a lie, it's even more crushing. I think most people know that from experience. So, Yoni's not being a good girl right now. I, I am. So don't be sad. You have nothing to worry about. Yoni, my, my best friend who I played with in the flower garden. That that was you, wasn't it? Uh, I also wonder if Sharina's thinking about uh, whether she's uh, actually Sharina or not. Because that's also one of the interesting things about this chapter thus far. Um, just One of these, either Peony or Sharina is Sharina. So it'll be interesting to see. But Sharina looks just like Henrietta, Henrietta, but it could just be like an exchange of souls. So who really knows? Uh, um, yeah, it was me. I, I don't really remember much from before I was an Alphar, but I do remember you. I remember that we were very good friends, but I still have only hazy half-memories. That, that girl told me, when we were trading places with each other, she was Sharina. That girl told me. Oh. She told me she drank my share of the dream nectar. Oh no, you're actually a peasant. That could explain why Sharina is just like so happy-go-lucky. But then I also can't tell if, if Henretta is also like that, too. Though, she does seem like that, too. I felt cheated. I cried over it. I wanted to drink the nectar. I wanted to become a hero. <sighs> I wonder I wonder if the little girls really knew what they were signing up for when they uh, drank the nectar. Because I don't really think this is the life of a hero. But now I understand. That girl, she knew what was about to happen. She knew there was no coming back. Yep. 
Uh, Sharina is too much of an airhead even now to, like, fully understand it. I mean, I, I guess she does understand it now, but, like, all those years ago, ooh, there's no way she understood. She sacrificed herself and drank my share of the nectar without ever letting on how she saved me. Wait, she drank, like, two portions of nectar then? Holy fuck. Is that a good idea? Uh, maybe that's how you end up being evil, is when you drink too much nectar. It's like becoming a bad drunk or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> is all that true, Peony? I, I wanted to help people be happy. Even as a child, as long as the people I cared about were happy, that was all I needed. I was happy too. Oh, maybe Peony's like this way because she drank too much nectar and has brain damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you were happy, what more could I ask for? My dream had come true. <sighs> Even though I think Peony's like a simplistic and relatively boring character. She does have a kind heart. But we... You and I played together and changed places more than a few times, didn't we? We shared our thoughts with one another, became each other even. Before I met you, before any of this, was I. Was I the original Princess Sharina? Or were you, Sharina? And you saved me by drinking my nectar and leaving me with your life. <laughs> That's not a pleasant thought because... If this is... If this is actually that little girl, the other little girl, that means a princess literally gave her life for, like, a peasant. Ugh. And normally I wouldn't really care about it that much, but everyone knows Fire Emblem in general cares so much about bloodline in your lineage, so that's kind of messed. What's mine is yours. Oh. Wow. Those are some powerful words. That's like a, the mentality of, a, of twins, but like, in this case, she's talking about her life. Wh what do you mean? It doesn't matter who was who originally. Gregoria, thanks for subbing. Welcome to Nimda. It doesn't matter who was who originally. And besides, neither of us can remember. Oh no, don't do this to me. I want to know who's real. I want to know who's real because, ugh. Because if we're actually going down this path, right? Where one day we re revive Alphonse, then the Alphonse and Sharina pairing could be legal because they're not actually siblings. Wait a second. Hold on. If they exchange souls or do they exchange bodies? Because there's a big difference there <laughs> when it comes to what's allowed and what isn't. Um, um, anyways. And besides, neither of us can remember. When we played together, we shared everything. Even our hearts. And our minds. You and I are two halves of a whole. Whoa, I'm not sure that it's, it goes that far, but alright. We each have half the other in us. That makes us the same. This is sounding crazy. Absolutely crazy. What's done is done, so don't worry. Just, just be happy. That's all I ask. Yoni, I don't know what to say. Uh... The hell is with this chapter? What the- what the heck? That was actually really touching. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm not a fan of Peony, but like, that's such a crazy sacrifice to me. Oh, uh, okay. Damn. I wonder if that actually is Sharina, because the, the actual Sharina, because if it is, geez, um, I would have much rather Peony, or whoever this actually is, to be the one who became an Alphar, because, let's be frank, Sharina is not fit to be a princess and not fit to lead a kingdom. She is way too immature. Alphonse is also not very good at it, so, yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's a revelation. Well the blade. Chapter 13-3. I was gonna say chapter 313. <laughs> Why? I don't understand it. Why does this mortal still oppose me after I've explained everything? I don't know either! I'm trying to submit to you, but the game won't let me. Try, Andra. Tell me. 
Wait, is Triander still alive? I thought we killed her so she could become a mythic hero this month. Oh. But she's dead. I has killed her so that these plebeians can go summon for her at the end of the month. Huh. Well, isn't that something? With my life, Triandra and Plumeri could. No. Oh! So she's considering giving up her life. Oh, that's something. That's what's going to happen at the end of it. Freya's going to give up her life for the two fairies. I mean, I do think Freya is, at, is, is fundamentally still a good person. Um, she's just wickedly jealous and wants incest too much. Which probably blinds her. But I think she'll make the right choice at the end of it. None. No. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is my brother. Him and him alone. Yeah, see? It's all Freya. It's all Freya's, uh, Freya's fault. All he had to do was love his sister. None of that matters. Why would you wish to return to reality, Nemeus? Because Alphonse is dead, and I'm fine with that. You choose misery over happiness? No, I'm choosing happiness over happiness. I mean, I like you a lot too, but I, I think I'd rather Alphonse be dead. What do you think awaits you? A dead Alphonse. Friends, that's what's awaiting. Uh, hopefully a dead body too, but you know, sure. <sighs> Alphonse is alive and worried. All your friends have been waiting for you to wake up for a long time now. And if you don't, you'll never see each other again. I'm hoping he's not. The The idea of Alphonse like watching me as I sleep is giving me the shivers. You won't ever hear the sound of one another's voice again. I'm fine with that. And that is just too sad for me to stand. Uh, no, I'm seriously fine with that. That's why you have to wake up. Your friends miss you and want you to come back to them. Okay. Why does she keep assuming I want to like Alphonse or something? Alright, let's fight for- Oh man, her kit keeps changing, guys! It's attack speed to lull attack defense and panic point now. Uh, oh! This is a tricky battle. I- I'm- I think if I let Hannah fight Milady, it's not gonna go well. Hannah's actual defense is not good. Oh! <laughs> Don't say that to me, Tatsu. Yeah, I wake up and Alphonse is right next to me holding my hand and uh, it gives me a big old smooch on the lips. Those are dark, 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 dark thoughts. Discard all hope. If, you know, if, if, uh, <laughs> yes. um, if Freya said that was what's going to happen to me, I would totally never want to wake up, so. Oh my god, so good. She still does that much damage. And look at the damage reduction! You know, when Freya finally becomes a mythic hero, or where, whenever she gets released, she's gonna be amazing. Ooh, my lady can get killed. Wow, my Siltus is super good. Why? Well, I would hope she is. I'm only hitting 18. My lady's pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't think that's a ninja strike, but alright. Death, an ending. I don't even know how Lift like manages to quarrel the sword so much. Master Your sword quarrel. So bad, he only appears in one chapter, Kappa. Wait, for real? Okay, that's probably for the best because this this chapter's like these chapters haven't been very hard. Um, we have had we've legitimately, guys, we've legitimately had some difficult missions thus far in the most recent book. I like how Azura's like super hurt already, even though she hasn't fought anyone. But yeah, we legitimately have had like legit uh, hard chapters. Ooh, teleport. Wait, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine. If she teleports here, it's okay. We're, we're probably fine still. Uh, that's Discord fire sweep, so let's just get out of there. Yep, I knew it. Oh damn, that's so cool. Guinevere's attack animation is amazing. Uh, I was talking about something, but I already lost track of my thoughts. Yeah. Oh, he's lying? Okay, lying? Okay. Merlinus is pretty, pretty awful. This chapter could actually be pretty tough if the heroes were better, but all these heroes are heavily flawed, right? So. 
But in the hands of AI with the extra boosted stats, it's not so bad. I wonder. Oh wow, we actually do do damage three times too. Yes. And now it is your turn. You know, I think I think I think I prefer Alphonse being dead. Flip is pretty damn good. Lady Freya's getting weaker. We're close, Nimius. I don't want to weaken her. Oh wait, well no, we we do have to because I want to. I got to go back to reality. The stream will end soon. Yoni, if the the stream ends, will you really die? Ah. Oh. Wait, isn't this three houses music? No. No, the feels. That is... No, it's not. It's Echoes. It's Echoes. Sorry. I got tricked at the start. The sound is a lot more quiet for me. I didn't read the chat, by the way. I, I... We've literally sang this... We sung this song in our last charity stream. Alright. Kony, if this stream ends, will you really die? Oh, um, well... By the way, our next charity stream is this Saturday. So uh, drop on by if you guys want to support a good cause. Games for love. Uh, we will have a singing section if we hit the milestone. I mean, <laughs> I think we will. So, anyways. I won't allow it. I won't let you just disappear again. Yeah, I, I'm not really comfortable of getting all the alpha are killed. So maybe maybe we should stay in the dream. Thank you, Sharina. Thank you, me. I can't say I'm not sad, too. Oh. I wonder how it feels to be Peony, because, like, she doesn't really have friends. And Maribels is a shitty friend. <laughs> I wish I could stay with you all forever. But the dream has to... But the dream has to end. Kyoni... How is this possible? How? I've known you for like 11 months now. And I've said since the very start, you just look like a ditzy fairy girl that I'm not going to be interested in. How are you winning me over on literally the last chapter? I have literally not cared for you at all. For 11 months. And now you're saying all the hard-hitting words. Like, I can actually feel it. What the heck? You don't need to worry, Sharina. Once you wake up, it's likely you won't remember any of this. Oh my god! The facade that Peony puts up is uh, really something. It really throws you off. Because you think she's just some happy-go-lucky girl. Who doesn't really understand what's going on, but uh, no, she, she, she knows. She understands. Just an act. So you won't even feel sad. Stop it! <laughs> what the heck? Why? She's taking so many shots to the heart. To my heart right now. No. No, that's not what I want. If it ends like this, then it's no different than when we were children. I don't want to lose my friend again. Serena, when we were young, we were so close, and yet I can't remember what your name was back then. Yeah, because you're a shitty friend, and a shitty uh, princess, and a peasant. Doesn't that seem heartless of me? Yeah, it is heartless. You suck. I don't want to forget you again. Don't don't cry, Sharina. Here, take this. W what is this? A chain of flowers. You made it for me back then. Oh, she kept it all this time! Yoni, you had 11 months to make me like you. Why did you wait until now? Stop hitting me in the fields. Stop. You made it, me f you made it for me back then when we played together. I've kept it ever since. Holy crap. You have given me so much that I had to hold dear. No, she hasn't. And you continue to give me even still. She's not doing anything for you. You're too good. The words you've given me here are now etched on my heart forever. And even if we do forget, that does not undo everything that's happened. <sighs> Some people say no good deed goes unforgotten, but the reality is most good deeds do get forgetting, forgotten, so. Yoni is just such an optimist, Jesus. We've been friends ever since we met in that flowers garden. Nothing can change that, right? Uh, I think it- I think it was changed, considering she forgot about you, but, uh, you keep holding on to that friendship. She's too precious, guys. I can't stand the thought of you dying. 
Yeah, neither can I anymore. Thank you, Sharina. But even the sweetest dreams come to an end eventually. Don't worry, these are manly tears. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is every line Peony give <laughs> Peony saying is like so endearing at this point? Oh my god. We all must face re that reality at some point. <laughs> oh wow. But if if there's some way you can remember me, then maybe we can meet again someday. Somehow. I just said it, she's such an optimist. Let's both pray that day comes. <sighs> There's nothing more we can do, so no sense in worrying. Yoni, you're too good. Yoni. Hehe. <laughs> and if it is possible, oh, that will make me so ha- so, so happy. Uh, This- this literally hurts. Uh... Yoni went from a character I literally did not care about, who I thought was just eye candy. Literally, this ch up until this chapter, I did not care for her. And now she's like skyrocketed up the list of Fire Emblem Heroes characters. What the heck? Most characters in this game are forgettable, and they don't really feel real, but this Peony is really- Peony is feeling really, really real. Too real. Da da da. What? What is this feeling? I've... I've never felt like this before. The children are gone, and yet... What is this? Why is it so? You have reached an end here, Nimius. Which will it be? Everlasting joy within the dream? Or the hollow reality you've left behind? Wait... Wait a second... Wasn't this... Wasn't this the ending of Naruto? When Naruto and Sasuke was fighting Kaguya? <laughs> was, wasn't this the... Wasn't this the final arc of Naruto? <laughs> Didn't she ask the same thing? <laughs> okay, maybe this plot isn't that fresh. Okay... Since you've demonstrated your inability to act with self-interest, let me make that choice for you. I, I, I am falling in for self-interest. Hush now, and let my dream drag you deeper and deeper. I mean, I would love to sleep on her thighs. I think Freya would have top tier thighs. Again, her build changes in Scale Force this time. Okay. <laughs> Is there a teleport? No. Ooh. Flame Tongue, Swiss Barrel Dive Bomb. Jeez. This is stupid. That was just stupid. I completely yes, just... That... That didn't need to happen. I have faith in you. What now? Not a problem. Death. An ending. So if this is a hurt, hurt sound is is kind of cute. <laughs> her out, her out feels like she got pricked or something. Prepare yourself. Discard all. I wonder where to next. All right, there you go. Wow. Because the Freya builds keeps changing, I should have realized just because I couldn't one-shot her in, in another battle doesn't mean I can't one-shot her now. Wait, we didn't one-shot her. Just... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I, I take it back. I'm sorry. I, I don't know anything about this game. I'm just some noob. I, I just... I'm, I'm a casual. I don't know anything. The damage reduction is nuts. What? How many people are going to survive your spell? Leaf, what is wrong with you? Just hit them a bit harder, man. Come on. I'm in. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel so bad for Azura. She's just Without like, question. I'm just here minding my own business and uh, I keep getting hit. What now? Uh, you should be fine. That's not a lot of attack. A brilliant thought. 29, 29 res. I mean, I, I think we should be able to survive this, but I'm not going to risk anything right now. Yes, I suppose. Well, oh, we actually did need two both hits. Ruptured Sky is so good. Alright, let's see if we could have just Without taken him question. on. Yep, we could have. Actually, it's not a him. The fact there's a girl. Alright, we did it! First try! <laughs> That's a heck of a line, right? You demand reality, do you? Despite the consequences, after everything. Very well. I will give you a taste of the reality you crave. For the death of my brother, have the death of the Alphar. Simple, real, cause and effect. With what power remains to me, I will erase them from existence, their lives, memories, everything. It will be as if the very idea of Alphar never existed. Wait, is this really necessary? I just want Alphonse to be dead. Can't we have a compromise? I stay here, you kill Alphonse, keep him dead. It's, it's fine with me. All we need to do now is blow that horn. Once we do that, the dream will end. Oh God, am I about to see Peony die? Oh no, no. We even have sad music. No, 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 no. I know where this is headed and I don't like it. Now don't you worry about me. Look, I'm still alive, full of energy as ever. I, I don't even believe you. I I bet she's barely hanging in there. God, I'm so ugly. Look at me. That that flat flat flatness of lips. That th those dull eyes. That hair, slightly tinged with yellow because I'm edgy. This armor, too, too ordained, or too, too shiny for actual battles. Look at my hands. Your tiny hands. I'm sorry. The truth is, this will all be over very soon. Yeah, Peony, I, I realize that. Lady Freya will end my life. It will be as if I never existed. Oh, <laughs> Peony, you deserve better. Nothing can prevent that now. No. No! I... I'll stay. I'll stay. I don't need to see Alphonse's dead body. I don't need to see that at all. If you can live, I'll be... I'll be happy enough. I'll, I'll, I'll forgo... I'll forgo... Go... Uh, writing his eulogy and, and shitting on his grave, but... But I'll do that for you. I don't want you to die. But... But I accept that. No, 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 don't, don't, don't accept that. Life is important. It's precious. All dreamers wake eventually. Children will grow into adults. That's the way things are. No, no, don't don't give up so easily. Come on. A child who has a sweet dream wakes to feeling happy inside, even if, even if they can't remember why. Uh, th these are harsh and true words. That is why dreams matter. Even though they end, every dream leaves its mark on reality. Even if you don't remember it. Now your friends are waiting for you to finally awaken. So do it. Blow the horn. I'm not really good at this. I... I don't want to say goodbye. And... Emius? Thank you. No! No! Don't fade to white! Oh, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I must be ruthless. The Waking World. Oh, Nimius. No! No! No, 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 no. I only agreed to come back to reality because I thought you were dead. No. No, no, no. Tony didn't die so you could just be alive? That wasn't the deal. I'm glad to see you finally awake. You had me worried. You... You were looking at me while I was sleeping, weren't you? You creep. 
because there's something wrong. What is this blank expression you have? It's because I have to look at and talk to you. I was hoping you'd be dead. Excellent. Now we're all weak again. Nimi is back. Anna, please don't don't enable him. So, do you not remember anything else either? Let me explain what I can. No, 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 don't talk to me. Go away. All of us slept for three days and three nights. No, did we sleep together? No, no. And slowly now, we all woke up one by one. You were the last of us to wake, falling just after Sharina. You, 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 no. What did you do to me while I was asleep? I, I feel violated. Phew, that was a great nap. Oh, good morning. Sharina, please tell me you remember her. She didn't die so you could be a goofball again. Huh? It seems like we were all sleeping for quite a while, weren't we? Why do we all fall asleep, though? No! You don't need to die so you could just be a, a dunce. I, cr I can't remember a thing. I, I hate you too now. It feels like I had a really long dream. The details are gone. <laughs> I'm about to strangle you. <laughs> oh, well, oh my... <laughs> I'm leaving. I don't want anything to do with Asgar anymore. These characters are the worst. I want nothing to do with them. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. I'm... Uh, we, we should focus on the time we lost to our nap. <laughs> time to get out there and take today's missions by storm. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make a little... Little, uh... Burial for Peony. Because somebody has to do it. Because you, you two can't be bothered to remember a thing. Oh, hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? How have you been? Well, I hope. I haven't been well. Loki, please. Can you just transform into the summoner? And then we can swap places. I want to leave. Loki, I should have guessed. What have you done this time? Me? I haven't done a thing. If you want someone to blame, well... I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Ah, forgive my rudeness. Welcome back, Nimius. No, no, don't welcome me. Did you have a pleasant dreams? Uh, did you have a pleasant dream? How do you- If you sleep for three days and three nights, how do you have only one dream? You have multiple dreams when you go to sleep. Silly Loki. Wow, these characters all suck. Okay, well. Can't we clear in one turn? What now? Now, I know we're not supposed to remember we either, but that's the reason why I didn't even want to wake up, because the idea for getting Peony now is just kind of... That's such a horrible thing. I still remember, like, there was one time in, like, middle school. I remember uh, waking up, like, being incredibly sad. And I know it's, like, such a lame thing, but I, I remember part of the dream... At least the ending of it. It felt so real too. I was I was saying goodbye to somebody. Oh wait, are you gonna be fine, Tokus? I remember saying goodbye to someone, and things fading to white and waking up. And I remember it was a girl. And I remember, I remember like trying to draw her immediately after I woke up. And that's like what I did for like the next however much time. And then my mom got really upset at me because she's like. You, st you have school. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's that's really a feels bad, man. So I, I've had that feeling before, is what I'm saying. Oh, she really did kill everybody. I've had this feeling before, so it, it, it hits hard. That was way back, though. That was when I was in, like, um, junior high. She's gone. Again. We'll never get close enough to capture her. Yeah, capture Loki. Great. Gone again. Huh. What is it, Sharina? I feel like something's familiar about this. Is it deja vu? Or is it something from a dream? But, but what dream would it have been? Are you alright, Sharina? Are you still half asleep? Oh. Chain of flowers. So it wasn't a dream after all. Because you can't take something out of a dream. Why? Where did I? Why am I suddenly so sad? These flowers are... Are breaking my heart. And I... I... 
Um, sorry to interrupt, but I, I've just received a report you'll want to hear, Princess Trina. Anna, you're hardly in book four. Stop interrupting all the important moments. It seems a childhood friend of yours has just arrived for an unannounced visit. A childhood friend? Ah, speaking of, there she is. Is it Freya? Ah. Is it? Is it Freya? What? No way. The reason why I'm saying is it Freya because I don't think Freya would just let us wake up like that. This has to be the dream within the dream. I, there's no way there's a happy ending. That doesn't make any sense. Good morning, everyone. I'm Peony. I'm a light elf. <laughs> I I am not even attempt to say it. Leo's so far. I it's so bad at it. Or light elf, you might say. I'm from the land of dreams. Lil Jill Fiber. <laughs> where, where am I? L Lady Freya. You have awoken, both of you. Lady Freya, why? What is this? My deepest apologies. I will prepare to face our enemies properly. Oh, uh, foreshadowed. Mythic hero Triandra foreshadowed. It's happening. No. No, there is no need any longer. The two of you are free. You need not obey me any long anymore. I am... I'm already... Lady Freya, no! You... You... You'd give your life for us. Triandra. Amaria. I love my brother. And only him. He was everything to me. I never loved you. Because only my brother meant anything to me. We, we know, Lady Freya. But then, why? Why? <laughs> I asked you the same question, did I not? Even knowing what you do. Why? I have no answer for you. I cannot understand it myself. It reminds me of something a mortal might do. I never understood my brother. Why he loved humans. Why he would throw his life away. And yet... I thought he threw his life away so he could become a mythic hero. But, uh, I guess not. Lady Freya, my dream has come to its end. You must find a new home. I only wish for foolish children who would toss their mortal lives behind and serve me. To me, you were mere tools, but now that too has ended. So please, leave me. Go. No, no, we refuse. We are your alpha, Lady Freya. We will not leave your side. It's, it's no use. My fate is already sealed. We will... We will find a way, a way to bring you back to us. Yes, there must surely be a way. I will never understand this. My brother alone meant anything to me. And yet, even still, with you two here, now, you've made me, you've made me smile. He has such a pleasant smile. I actually really like Freya. Lady Freya. Please hold on, Lady Freya. We will find a way to wake you. Until... Until we do. Rest easy. Wait. No. That can't be the ending. That can't be the ending. How can that be the ending? Okay, look, I do enjoy Peony, like, a lot more now, because she, you really gotta see the real Peony, like, the person who she actually is, instead of that dunce that we've seen for 11 months now, um, how caring, how much she's willing to sacrifice, but with that said, Alphonse wasn't really dead. Instead, we were just misled for... Like, that was a huge red herring then. Because I was under an impression that was what actually happened. Unless it's the game is saying Freya also revived Alphonse. And Marabellus did not have a role at the end of all that, so... What was that about? The other question is, why would Freya do this? Now, you might say, Hey, Freya said she didn't see a point in living without her brother. 
Okay, sure, but you don't just give your life away for the people who got your brother killed, right? Weren't we the one who killed Freya? Because he wanted to die so she would lose her powers. Remember that? I'm not so sure a vengeful goat would just be like, yeah, you know what? He's dead and now I've changed my mind and we'll make sure you're all going to have a happy ending. That doesn't feel right. And moreover, she kept giving us a choice and then eventually was just like, okay, have it your way. That That's not proper character motivation. With that said, though, it does feel like she did have a change of heart for uh, Triandra and Plumeria, right? I understand that, but she didn't need to look out for Plumeria. Sorry, Triandra and... Yeah, Plumeria. She, she, but with that said, she didn't need to look out for Peony. She didn't need to look out for us. But she did anyways. But I always knew that, like, Freya would be a pretty complex character because, despite everything, like, there was more to her than a lot of other, a lot of other characters. I mean, people will probably write her off as just obsessed with her brother, but she clearly knew a lot more and acted on a lot more. Uh, as a villain, I enjoyed her a lot, but I enjoyed her a lot because she felt real. Like, she felt realistic, right? Like, she had emotions, unlike a lot of other uh, characters in, in, in Fire Emblem Heroes story. Like, she did things out of love, she did things out of spite. Those are real emotions. Not positive ones, but they definitely felt real. The fact that she turns around and, like, does all this, though, just doesn't quite fit. It's just, it's like another Hell moment, right? Where Hell could have just killed Alphonse, could have killed all of us, but she decided to fool around with us, and then eventually we beat her. It feels kind of cheap to have an ending like this. Overall, though, I enjoyed this book. It's just this ending feels off. It's, it should not have been a happy ending. We had no indication of it being a happy ending. And then all of a sudden, the main villain just decides to give us a happy ending. That's kind of what I uh, have an issue with. I mean, it's possible she can't selectively revive fairies. It's also possible, yeah, but that means she put love over vengeance. And as she talked about in the final moments, she never really felt anything for the two fairies. But as an earlier chapter hinted, she has like a little bit of aching for them, right? She can feel a bit of yearning, love for them, something. She can feel something for them, but enough to just give us a happy ending after we killed her brother? That's a bit iffy. It feels a bit rushed. It feels like it was building up to something significant and then just ended. That's what it feels like to me. Either way, I still enjoyed it. It's just it didn't quite feel right to me. This is still one of my... Ah. I'll, I'll say this is one of my favorite books. In the top three, definitely. But... Yep. Yep. Uh, that ending was a bit iffy. Either way, it was good. It was good. I enjoyed the ride. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And suddenly, they uh, made Peony like, a lot better of a character. So. Yeah, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, follow. That is book four. I, I, I did not see this ending coming. <laughs>